Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. It's a little crowded at my home tonight, so I'm trying to make this video the fastest and the bestest I can possibly make it. It is. And basically, I just went back and I fixed a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, I was not able to finish fixing the um, the solar panels. They're supposed to come out dual, like you know, like two stacks and then separate um, like at a 45 degree angle from each other on the sides of the craft. Having real trouble with that one hinge. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, even when I replace it, it still acts weird. So I'm thinking that maybe a hinge on top of a hinge is bugged or something of that nature. I don't know. But uh, for the, um, I'm going to make a kind of a quick schem uh, schematic, cinematic uh, at the end of the video. Um, so that way it's 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 a done deal basically um i don't think i'll come back to this project for the mining operation for a little while at least i'm not sure what i'm gonna do next but um i don't know we'll find out we'll see yeah uh please enjoy the video here we go oh wait a minute how'd that get there damn it um i'm doing the um moon what holy crap get it together boy oh <clears throat> Uh, the mining barge station thing. I am fixing it. I am making everything work this time around, hopefully. We even have a, a shielding docking port to dock with stuff. Now I seriously upgraded the escape pods now. Still the same uh, round capsule that holds three kerbals, but it has this nice lovely skin over it, which makes it really look really nice. So I'm um, just a, so anyway, the problem I had with the solar panels up here, I fixed. <coughs> Correction, I thought I fixed. Okay, resume. Apparently, when you try to when you try to use uh, mirror symmetry, it messes it up. So I had to literally put them on individually, one at a time, and do it that way. So hopefully that will work because technically they're two different entities. So I don't see why it wouldn't work. I remember in the comments reading that someone was asking about the center of lift or center of lift or no, excuse me center of mass and center of thrust i am just not here today i am so sorry <laughs> i will try my best good grief so the center of mass and the center of thrust was off when it's loaded and that is true gosh damn it it's not even the right freaking readout hold on hold on i'm messing up again good gosh it's the um, the escape pods that were messing up the, the uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> okay, they were messing up pretty much everything, right? The escape pods. What do you freaking do? Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these off. Screw it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now with a TWR of 0 0.12. Okay, and look, even with the engines completely all of them on all the nerve is on it's still lined up pretty good at the time i miserably failed to let the audience know that the ore tanks were completely full in order for the simulation to work so i take this and just turn off one one pair then it lines up almost perfectly okay yes that's how it's supposed to go this damn thing was messing everything up but it lines up completely with just one of these Nerva engines, uh, nuclear engines. I keep on saying Nerva. Nerve engines off. Just one, just one set off. And that gives us a Delta V, uh, Delta V of 3000 with TWR of 0 0.11. So it's, it's, it's really not that much. So that takes care of that. So that answers your question. I hope hopefully answers your question and you know who you are. I'm watching you. I'm Batman. All right, let's put the empty ones up there now. TWR of 0.18 with a Delta V of 4,900. Not bad, that can get you around the place for a while. Okay, let's close this, put these bad boys back up here. Okay, all right, so now what we actually have to do is uh, make sure these never turn on, <laughs> ever. Okay, let's, yep, I figured everything was in there. Da -da 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 -da. Let me turn these off real quick. Very annoying decoupler staging. There we go. And what's this? Oh, for you too. Okay. Do this individually. All right. Great. Great, great, great. That works. Now we can take this whole damn thing and throw it up there. That works. Okay. New escape pods that I slapped together. I'm wondering if they will, they'll actually do a thing. They, they look nice. They blend in with... Um, they really do blend in with the ship, almost. It actually does look very nice. It blends in with the ship, almost a triangle, a triangle kind of pattern. It's really nice. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually make the delta wing that's right here into a interaction, same vessel interaction. My hope is, is that the wobbliness that we observed in this cargo bay won't be a thing anymore because it'll bounce off of these walls. And so that will, that will really definitely, definitely help. And let's see here. I have a little thing right here. There it is. And of course, this will bring it down. This will extend it down away from the walls. Okay, so I'll extend it away from these uh, upper delta wing walls so that it can turn around and do its little gripper, grabber, rock grabbing thing. I think I'll do the same thing here. All right, so that's basically a pocket, like a slot for this piece to go into. So this will be same vessel interaction, same with this and this. So now these parts will interact with each other even if they are part of the same vessel. So I'm hoping that this kind of locking mechanism will help this from moving around too much. About to go down here real quick and just see if this works. Uh, okay, then move it up and down and there it is slides are right in well supposed to anyway it gets a little dangly once <laughs> once it leaves that that locking mechanism it's a little dangly but it slides right in pretty nicely all right that'll work hopefully for now now uh there has been uh, i've been asked how do you get this thing to orbit well typically a ship of this size uh this far into the future would be built in orbit i don't see this thing ever being launched from the ground into orbit but you know what i don't have a whole lot of time to actually rendezvous and do all that other good stuff this would be technically would be like built and launched like from the moon or or a station around orbit so here's the question could it reach an asteroid or something of that nature right could i rendezvous with an asteroid if it was built this ship was built in an orbit it was christened they threw the wine bottle at it all that other good stuff and it left docking port and it was on its maiden voyage and whatnot so we can do that we can actually try to launch this thing into orbit 328 tons ouch 328 tons you want me to try to launch this thing single-handedly into orbit 328 tons are you mad are you quite mad yeah they definitely have to be built in orbit <laughs> So my guess is that that would be it would be launched in pieces and put together in orbit. <sighs> Here we go.
Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. There was actually a little bonus thing that I want to show you where I was trying to make a video and I kept on getting all of these subscribers coming through my OBS recording, which was amazing. And uh, I, I can't thank you enough. Um, it's been a long journey, but uh, I'm, I'm really uh, I, I'm I'm taking a liking to this spaceship transformation type of thing. I think I'll try to go for like a, a, a spaceship turning into a colony. Or something of that nature that sounds really fun so look forward to that in the next video and uh yeah for those of you wondering about the music um what i do is i take uh different types of music from video games and stuff and i mesh them all together and slow them down cut them up and then mix them up and all sort of good stuff uh this one was uh, a mixture of synth wave and an old video game called colony wars so yeah um so anyway love you all take care Bye bye I am the Terminator. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to live. Bleh.